students today we are going to start with a new chapter that is speed distance and time and the objectives of this chapter are introduction to the chapter number 2 conversion of units of speed number 3 to find speed distance and time and number 4 is to find the average speed right so let's get started so here first of all we will start with the speed what do you mean by speed speed of an object is the distance traveled by the object in a unit time right so what is speed speed of an object is the distance traveled by the object in a unit time right so here we can have the relationship between distance speed and time that we can represent it by a triangle and then we can form the formulas for speed distance and time so here you can see that i have made a triangle here and here i have written d here s and here t all right so now d means what distance s means speed t means time right now in this triangle i have written here d s t and here i have written the sign of division divide here also i have written divide and here multiply right so now from here we can form the formulas for speed distance and time first of all we will make the formula for distance now here you can see that i have written distance is equal to speed multiplied by time now how can we we can form this formula from this figure so here you can see distance distance is equals to opposite to distance what is written there s and t and multiply so that means s multiply t so s means speed t means time so distance is equals to speed multiplied by time so here i have written the formula next one is speed so how can we find the speed so opposite to speed what is written d divided by t d means distance t means time so the formula is distance upon time now for time we can have the formula as so here i have written time t for time and opposite to time what is written d divided by s that mean distance divided by speed so here we have the three formulas for distance speed and time all right now we will talk about the units units of speed distance and time as well so here you can see d d means distance t for time s for speed so if we will have distance in meter and time can be in seconds as well as in minutes then the units for speeds will be meter per second right or meter per second you can write in the short form or you can write here meter per minute i'm repeating it again distance if the distance is in meter and time is in second the speed will be meter per second if the distance is in meter and time is in minute then you will write here meter per minute now here if we will have distance in kilometer and time is in hours then the speeds units will be kilometer per hour or you can write the short form km per hours kilometers per Hours, right now let's take a first example here to find the speed so first of all read the statement if distance is equals to 25 meters and time is equals to 5 seconds calculate the speed now whatever is given to you you will write here distance distance is equals to 25 meter time is equals to 5 seconds then the speed just now we have done the speed formula speed is equals to distance upon time so distance will be 25 meter and time will be 5 seconds so you will cut them on five table 25 comes on 5 so you will have 5 meter per second so speed will be equals to 5 meter per seconds so next example we will have if speed is equals to 8 kilometer per hour and time is equals to 4 hours calculate the distance so here first of all we will write here whatever is given to you speed is equals to 8 km uh, kilometer per hour time is equals to 4 hours so distance will be equals to speed multiplied by time so speed's value is equals to 8 so
so uh, multiply by time time means 4 so here students you can see that kilometer per hour these are the units for speed and unit for time will be equals to hours right so the distance will be in kilometer right so what you will write here right so here the units for the distance will be in kilometers so 8 multiplied by 4 kilometer will be equals to 32 kilometers right now move to the next example here's example number third so first of all read the statement so here you can see that if distance is equals to 18 kilometer and speed is equals to 9 kilometer per hour then calculate the time so what to do here we need to find the time so here whatever is given to you you will write here distance is given to you as 18 kilometers so you will write here distance is equals to 18 kilometer Speed is equals to 9 km per hour and the formula for time is equals to distance upon speed, right? So, the value of distance is equals to 18 and speed is equals to 9. So, you will put here and you will cut them 9 1 is a 9, 9 2 is a 18. Now, one thing you have to be careful about the units. Now, here distance is in kilometer and speed is in kilometer per hour. So, time is in hour. So, you will write the units for time will be as hours. So, the answer will be time is equals to 2 hours, right? So, now move to the next topic. So, now students, we will learn about how to convert the units of speed. So, here you can see that speed. So, speed have its units. So, it, its units can be meter per second or kilometer per hour or meter per minute, right? So, First of all, if we will have meter per second and then we have to change it into kilometer per hour. Similarly, the kilometer per hour can be given to us and we have to change it or convert it into meter per second. Then we have the specific formula to convert these units. So first of all, we will talk about how to convert meter per second into kilometer per hour. So, whenever the speed is given to you in meter per second and then we have to change it into kilometer per hour, then the speed will be multiplied by 3600 upon 1000, right? So, the answer will be in the kilometer per hour. Now, here, if you will have kilometer per hour already given to you in speed and we have to convert it into meter per second, then the speed will be multiplied by 1000 upon 3600 right so now we will solve some examples to understand how can we convert meter per second into kilometer per hour or kilometer per hour into meter per second so let's get started so here is the first example convert the speed is equals to 72 kilometer per hour into meter per second so, first of all, what is given to you? Speed is equal to 72 km per hour. And we need to convert it into meter per second, right? Now, for converting kilometer per hour into meter per second, we have to multiply the given speed with 1000 upon 3600. So, you will write here 72 multiplied by 1000 upon 3600 meter per second, right? So, now student, one thing you have to be careful about the cutting so there is a way to cut down so uh, what is that way first of all you will cut these last two zeros right and then you will cut it on two table so two fives are 10 and two 18s are 36 so you are left with now five upon 18 then you can cut 18 on 18 table 72 directly or on two table 2 9s are 18 and 2 36 are 72 and 9 1s are 9, 9 4s are 36. So now you are left with 4 into 5 that is 20. So your speed will be equals to 20 meter per second, right? So it was a very easy example. So now move to the next example. So here's the statement convert the speed is equals to 10 meter per second into kilometer per hour. So given is speed is equals to 10 meter per second, we have to convert it into kilometer per hour. For converting it into kilometer per hour, we need to multiply the speed that means 10 multiplied by 3600 upon 1000 kilometer per hour. 
right? So again, we will cut the last two zeros and on two tables, two 18s are 36 and two 5s are 10. So now you are left with 18 upon 5. So now 5 and 18 can't be cut on one common table. So 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. So two 18s are 36. So you will have speed is equal to 36 kilometer per hour. All right. So students, today we have discussed the formulas to find speed, distance and time. Also, we have learned about how to convert the speeds units that is kilometer per hour into meter per second and meter per second into kilometer per hour. So now I hope all of you are able to do the related homework that we have sent you in your SNAP homework. But before starting your homework students, please go through the YouTube links because all these links are very helpful for you to understand these type of concepts.